we've arrived in Peterborough for a monumental League One clash. When we win promotion, this is what we say. Where's the where's the McKenna in our kids? Now, why is today's match simply just so damn big? Let me explain. Peterborough currently sit in fifth, having lost just one of their last eight outings. However, today there is no room for slip-ups because lurking just one point behind them, Bolton and Derby, who both have favourable home fixtures. Peterborough, of course, have the man that is Johnson Clark Harris. 25 goals in League One this season. That is over a third of Posh's goal tally throughout the entire campaign. Posh are no mugs, but neither are their opponents today. Ipswich Town come to town. They are the red hot team in the division right now. They have not lost in over three months of football. The best away record in League One. They are the most free scoring side by an absolute mile. The second top scorer in the league, Connor Chaplin on 22. He is a man on red hot form, just like his team. They can't slip up. Neither can Posh because around Ipswich, Sheffield Wednesday and Plymouth Guess what? They also have some favourable home fixtures today. So there is no room for error from either of these sides. Made it in. Here is today's view. 3,800 Ipswich fans are in town today. Tickets are like gold dust for them and a business end of their League One campaign. I've got a sneaky suspicion there are a few town fans around me in the home end right next to this huge away and they will certainly be in fine voice all afternoon should their team come up with the goods. We are moments away from kickoff down at London Road set for a cracker. Of the strongest sides in League One by a country mile. They've got some real firepower in their squad, so I'm expecting a battle of real, real quality today. Here come the town players applauding the travelling 4,000 odds. What a set of supporters they are. They really are something posh. A big outing for them today as well. No room for slip up. Derby and Bolton lurking behind, like I said, kickoff is imminent. Here we go then! An optimistic roar around this place. It's a massive, massive game. Efron Mason Clark, ex Barnet man. Love the Barnet me. What a player he is, full of quality, and he calls it switch some problems today. As I suspected. Ipswich fans in the home end, and it's not even been five minutes of the game. Wow, load of security crowding around him. You just knew that was going to happen. Ipswich goal, Peterborough United nil, Ipswich Town one. Oh my goodness. Another Ipswich fan celebrates a goal in the posh end. What on earth is he doing? But take a look at this. take the lead an Ipswich fan in the middle of the posh end oh he is getting some stick he is getting some stick rightly so town take the lead and that is an absolutely massive goal absolute carnage in the away end Wes Burns gives Ipswich the lead inside 16 minutes and they come again they come forward again prevented Ipswich fan is on his way out getting some stick
agonisingly close from Efron Mason Clark. By far the closest pass have come all afternoon. And we're almost at the half hour mark. Wow. Such a good chance there for Clark. A massive goal has just gone in in League One. Cambridge equalised at Plymouth. That will be music to those Ipswich fans' ears. Sheffield Wednesday, Plymouth, both drawing at home to teams below them in the league. As for Posh and the teams around them, Bolton and Derby also being held to Shrewsbury and Burton were minutes away from half-time. Ipswich in the driving seat to end the afternoon top of League One. Half-time at London Road. Posh nil, Ipswich one. Let's have a more action-packed goals galore second half after all. These are two of the highest scoring sides in the division. They've got a lot to play for. The second half is underway. Ipswich now shooting in front of that way. How will that change their performance in front of goal? We shall see. Posh need to step it up. That's unlike Connor Chaplin to blaze wide from that sort of distance. Town fans in fine voice as their team held forward at the start of this second half. Oh. Now imagine if that had gone in. Oh my goodness. Ten minutes into the second half, two huge goals have gone in at Hillsborough and Home Park. Exeter to take the lead against Sheffield Wednesday. That's massive. The town lead. The carnage down there was simply sensational. That is a huge oh, goal man. for Kieran McKenna's men. Well, both both away stands in fine voice. However, they are so far out of sync, but they don't care. It looks like they really are going up. Sheffield Wednesday have equalised. At Hillsborough, which isn't great for Plymouth or it's just, but they won't mind because they're both ahead. Bolton take the lead against Shrewsbury. That's not good reading for posh fans because let's face it, they're not getting anything out of this match. Ipswich are well on top and their fans are an absolute dreamland. Peterborough's afternoon has just got a whole lot worse. David McGoldrick scores for Derby against Burton. As it stands, Peterborough are seventh outside of the playoff spots. What a goal! What a strike! Oh my goodness! Freddy Ladapo has just scored one of the best goals I've seen all season. One of the best goals you will see all season. There it is. Peter Brunel. Ipswich 3. And there's the three points wrapped up for the town boys. They can now celebrate without any worry whatsoever. Although, they are just a point ahead of Sheffield Wednesday still because the Owls have just scored against Exeter. Wednesday on 90, Ipswich on 91, Plymouth also winning comfortably on 92. What a goal that was from Freddie Ledapo. Oh my God. You can hear them. They believe that this is their time to return to the Championship. They've got a game in hand over Wednesday on Tuesday away at Barnsley. If they are to win that, they basically have a foot 
and a half in the championship. There is full time. Peter Brunel, Ipswich 3. Them lot will be celebrating all night long in the streets of, well, not quite yet. They've got a, they've got a wrap up promotion first. If they win at Oakwell on Tuesday, like I said, that is a huge step towards the second division where they've been deprived for so long. This is such a huge win. Full time scenes. Take this in. Staggering support. Fantastic full time scenes. Are they on their way back to the championship? It certainly looks that way. Wow. A monumental afternoon for the Tractor Boys. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you're an Ipswich fan, I already know how much you enjoyed that. Maybe we'll see you in the championship next season. Thank you for watching. Oh my God, there's a Norwich fan and they are hating it. What a way to end the video. Good night.